In this lecture, we look at the effect of action potential in a triad. So we said, that T2 Buell and two adjacent terminal cisterna are known as triad. Let's see what we have in triad, and how action potential affect them. Let's see what we have there. Here we have two different receptors. The receptor in T2 Buell, known as, dihydropyridine, and one in terminal cisterna, which is called, ryanidine receptor. Let's take a closer look, by action potential and repolarization of T2 Buell, dihydropyridine receptor will be activated. And remember, the sarcoplasmic reticulum, holding lots of calcium ions. Activation of dihydropyridine, affects the ryanidine receptors on terminal cisterna, and opening of calcium channels. Which leads to outflux of calcium from terminal cisterna into sarcoplasm. Sarcoplasm is the endoplasm of a muscle fiber. This release of calcium is going to initiate start a process, known as sliding filaments. We are going to explain it in next lecture. Thank you for listening.